going to talk you through multiplying fractions. Multiplying fractions is really straightforward. All you have to do is multiply. So let's have a look at the first example. Two thirds multiplied by four fifths. So to find the top number, the numerator in this question, all I have to do is multiply the top two numbers together here. So two multiplied by four is eight. And then I'm gonna do exactly the same thing with the bottom two numbers, the denominators. Three multiplied by five is 15. And there we go, we've already multiplied our first fractions together, two thirds by four fifths. We can't simplify this fraction, there's no common factor, so we just leave it like that. Now, in example number two, I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. I'm going to multiply the top two numbers together, the numerators, to find the numerator in our answer, and I'm going to multiply the denominators. So two multiplied by seven is 14. So that's our answer. However, we can simplify this fraction because there's a common factor. We can divide both of these numbers by two. So if I divide six by two, I get three. And if I divide 14 by two, I get seven. Okay, so this fraction is the same fraction as this one. It's, it's what we call an equivalent fraction. So if you want to get full marks in your question, usually you're required to simplify your answer. Now, it might not be two that you're dividing by. It might be three, four, five. It just so happens that two is the common factor for this fraction here. In my last example, the numbers here are given as mixed numbers. I have to turn these into improper fractions first. If you're not sure how to turn mixed numbers into improper fractions, then you can look at the other video. But for the moment, I'll just presume that you know what to do. So, to turn this one into an improper fraction, one times five plus two is seven, and the second one, two times four is eight, plus three is 11. Okay, so first you turn the mixed numbers into improper fractions. Now we just multiply like we did in the first two examples. So to find the numerator in our answer, we multiply the numerators together. So seven multiplied by 11 is 77. And the same underneath, five multiplied by four is 20. Okay, and this fraction, it's in its simplest form, we can't simplify this. There isn't a common factor. 77, it's not divisible by two. 4, 5, 20, so we just leave it like that. Okay, so hopefully that's cleared up any questions you might have about multiplying fractions.